Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since we've done a um, maintenance video um, and I thought this was a good one to do because as you can see, my first step out of the bus is a very long step. And the reason for that is because a couple of campsites ago, uh, I think we were um, in Colorado, uh, we're now in California, um, the step wouldn't retract uh, when we turned the engine on and the override switch wouldn't work for it either so it was just stuck out. So I got underneath and I tried to manually close it with a spanner. Uh, it wasn't going to play ball so I removed the linchpin um, between the uh, arm from the motor and the stairs and then I used some ladder strap and we strapped it up. So today what we're going to do is we're going to dive under there, I'm going to drop the motor out, then we're going to test the motor uh, and see if that's actually burnt out or if it's still working. If the motor's still working, then I'm going to go back and start testing all of the voltages. So that's where we're at today. Now I've got, um, I've got boots set up because there's no, we're in a BLM um, area at the moment, there's no um, fire rings, there's no picnic tables, there's nothing. So I've set up boots uh, to be my temporary workshop and it's uh, right beside the, 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 the bus. So let's get into it. We are on the way. Now I've put all the cardboard under here. Uh, for me to lie on because the stairs are up here. Now one thing that I really would like to stress when you're doing things like this is the stairs is a mechanical device and if it operates while you've got your arm or your head or your fingers in there it will crush them. So number one don't work on it with any power on because uh, one slip, one miscalculation and you could lose a finger or some other catastrophic thing could happen. So when you're working on this sort of stuff, make sure it's got no power on. Now I've pulled all the plugs already so I know I'm going to be safe. The other thing is make sure that your bus isn't going to roll over you as well. Position yourself so that if something does happen you're not going to get crushed by the bus either. A couple of really, really important steps. All right, so um, just so you know what's going on, I've already checked um, the power. We're getting power because this is a light up in here. And when you turn the override switch on, that lights up. But I haven't checked um, all the other power uh, coming into here yet. All right, but as you can see up here, come off I've actually disconnected the motor from the loom so I've just taped it up in a little bit normally those two plugs go together this is the motor here um, and what I'll do is I'll I'll undo all of this and then let you have a, a clear view of what's going on here now I just used my um, uh, impulse drill and a spanner just to, to loosen this up and uh, there's the nut fell down there um, now you want to put pressure on the front here before you take this bolt out because these steps they're just going to drop so this is the, the bolt that we're just going to take out so I'm putting pressure on the front of the stairs which lifts this up takes the pressure off the, off the bolt. The ladder straps out, that was just a temporary thing to hold it in place. And the stairs can drop down. And they're out of the way. Now I'm not going to discard these because um, chances are I'm gonna to need to put it back in there because we're way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and if it is a motor, uh, we'll have to go down to a RV place and buy a new motor. 
All right, now, um, as I mentioned before, I removed the pin, so the pin actually goes through um, uh, this piece here, which sits inside here, which is the stairs, so the pin runs through there. Um, I'm going to take these one, two, three bolts out, that's going to drop the motor off. Okay, so these appear to be 5 16th, so we'll just uh, back them, back them off. So there's the motor. Okay. If I give you this, can you make sure you don't drop that or that, please? And just put it up in the back of the car. So now I'll go and test that motor and see if that's working. All right, now when you do take the motor out, you've got to be very careful that you don't lose any of these bits because um, they, they are not attached to the motor. Yeah, so there we are. So that, those two pieces um, may not come with the new motor. You might only have this bit here. All right, so if you lose them, um, particularly underneath your bus, in the dirt might be a little bit of a problem. So now I've taken those off and put them aside because um, when I start this up, if this is moving too quickly, I don't want to fire my other cogs off into the bush somewhere. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, because I don't have a 12 volt battery just floating around that I'm not using, and I don't want to interfere with the, the bus um, stuff and it's also in an awkward position. Um, I'm going to use the 12 volt battery in our car. So I'm just going to put a couple of jumper leads on, attach the jumper leads to a couple of probes, then use the probes to actuate the motor. And if it works, then there's some other problem. All right, so I've got this set up. So I've got a couple of leads in there. One's going off to the uh, negative terminal, the other one is this one here which is the positive terminal and if I touch this onto there, as you can see it's turning. Now if I reverse, if you watch that's actually going anti-clockwise, if I reverse the polarity then it's going clockwise. So our motor is fine. All right, so all after all the mucking about, the um, motor is fine. We've tested it without it being attached to the stairs. Uh, so now we're going to reattach the stairs um, and uh, see if it'll run. And it may be that the motor's actually uh, got a, like a, a short in it that doesn't allow it to operate under load. So we're going to check that next. All right, here's the moment of truth. Okay, so... Um, I'll get Janie to jump in and do the tests with the ignition. So she's just going to put power onto the ignition. Now the step should stay open. Yep, now this is the connection for the door. So the door closed. Door open. Okay, now um, Janie, if you can turn the ignition off and take the um, take the key out, then come over to the entry step here and switch that off. That's it. Okay, now switch it on. Yep, that's good. We open the door switch again. Okay, it's all good. It's all working. So there we go. I'm thinking that um, it overextended or the motor got a knock or there was a bad connection or something like that. And with me pulling everything apart and putting it all back together again, it's either fixed the faulty connection, uh, got the cog back into the right place, 
but a bit of time, um, not any money, which is always good. So we'll see how that goes for the next wee while, and hopefully it's all back together again and everything's fine. I've just got to tape up all the connections and make sure everything's tickety-boo underneath, but there we go. Um, you know, don't be afraid to get in and try and work these things out. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.